Have you ever been in a situation where you're playing a game or watching a movie late at night or maybe even during the day and you didn't want the volume to be too loud but you also didn't want to turn down the volume nor did you have a pair of wireless headphones sitting around? If that describes you then boy does Sony have a product for you. Meet the Sony SRS WS1 Variable Neck Speaker. That's right, Sony has made a speaker for your neck. At Apple, there's a famous saying, a thousand no's for every yes. But apparently at Sony, that is not a mantra they go by. Because here they are with a solution for a problem that probably doesn't exist. So let's get to it. What the hell is the Sony wearable neck speaker? Well, it's pretty much what it sounds like. It's a speaker that goes around your neck, that connects to your TV, and lets you hear stuff without it distracting others. The whole idea is that the speaker sits around your neck and you get a right and left stereo channel, and it provides an immersive sound experience. Taking things one step further, there's even a bit of a haptic or rumble feedback that again, especially if you're playing a game, it feels, again, what Sony likes to call immersive. But at the end of the day, all you're really doing is putting a pair of speakers around your neck. Here's what Engadget wrote when they had their test unit. I've been testing out the immersive speaker for the past week, and from the get-go, it was one of the strangest products I've ever used. It looks and feels like a quality Sony device, and it even sits on my neck well with excellent weight balance. But nothing about the speaker works the way you'd expect. And that's because the speaker is missing one key feature, wireless connectivity. That's right, this is a wired speaker, but not in the sense that you might actually think. The speaker itself, which offers about three hours of battery life, is indeed wireless, but it doesn't have built-in Bluetooth. So that means by itself, it can't connect to your sound bar, TV, or whatever other device you might have. Instead, there's actually an audio dongle, which requires you to run audio out, again, presumably from your sound bar or TV, into a wireless adapter, which then sends the signal to the wearable next speaker. For a lot of people, that's just one more device that they need to set up around their home theater area. But the strange part about it really is the fact that these aren't very thin devices. It's not like it's something super thin, like an AirPod where you can see there's only room for so many components, which again, obviously, ironically, AirPods are based on Bluetooth and so are fully wireless. Instead, these are pretty chonky speakers. So you'd really figure there should be plenty of room in there for a Bluetooth adapter. And there likely is, but for whatever reason, Sony decided not to build that in. Again, a thousand no's for every yes, but again, that's something that Sony clearly doesn't believe. All this sounds almost like an SNL sketch or something you'd see in Silicon Valley, the TV show, not actual Silicon Valley. And if the idea of a wearable speaker for your neck wasn't absurd enough, the price point will certainly be because these speakers will set you back $300. <laughs> Now at the time that I'm recording this video, those who pre-ordered the unit by December 1st will be able to snatch it up for $250 instead. A bargain, right? But after that, the speakers are gonna go back up to their normal $300 price tag. And this is really where things start to get strange and it kind of points to everything that sometimes is wrong with Sony. How in the first place did anyone think creating a speaker for your neck was a good idea when you can just buy a pair of Bluetooth speakers for 50 bucks and more or less do the same thing? Because unlike a pair of Bluetooth speakers or wireless headphones, these units have a single functionality because of that wireless dongle that's required. That means it has to be tethered to your home theater area. On the other hand, a wireless headphone or a Bluetooth speaker is something you can use all the time and connect it to all different types of devices. But that aside, when you create a compelling product, it should be there to enhance people's lives or solve a problem. And does this really solve any problems when you could just lower the TV volume so you're not disturbing other people in your house? And so that means at some point, engineers at Sony pitched this device to management and they approved funding for R&D, product design, components, manufacturing, marketing, shipping this unit out to retailers, paying for retail space, and all other types of costs that are associated with a product launch. At any point, was someone convinced that they're gonna sell millions and millions of these units to justify its existence? And if not, why would you create the product in the first place? But maybe I'm wrong and there's a huge demand out there for speakers that you put around your neck so you can watch TV at night without disturbing others instead of just lowering the volume. <laughs>
So let me know in the comment section, is this something that you actually find interesting and I'm just crazy? Or is this product completely crazy? And while you're at it, why don't you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button as well so you get notified when my next video goes live. And if you happen to dig the video, why don't you hit that like button as well? And if you're on Facebook and Instagram, definitely make sure to hit that heart or plus button or like button or whatever new button they have there today to let everybody know that you like this video. I'd appreciate that.